What up you guys? My name is Elaine, they call me Lean, and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am here with the first impressions album review and the album I will be trying out or listening today is none other than Shawn Mendes' brand new album which is self-titled Shawn Mendes which I physically have here and I am super super excited because if you guys didn't know everyone and their mom and their aunt and their uncles and their grandfathers and aunties and grandchildren know I love Shawn Mendes so I'm super super excited for this video well album just a little disclaimer um whatever i say in this video is my own opinion um i am not paid to you know talk about this album um everything um you know from the album itself was you know purchased with my own money out of my own pocket and pretty much my thoughts and opinions are all my own um and if you guys didn't know i really really love music so i really pretty much listen to everything not just sean mendes or charlie puth so yeah i am pretty excited to listen to this album with you guys and if you guys are interested on hearing my review then i guess you guys can keep on watching so to give you guys a heads up on how my first impression album review goes usually I talk about the physical album and everything inside of it and what it contains and then what I do is pretty much play you guys the songs um, unfortunately since I don't want to make this video too too long I only kind of show you guys a snippet of like my reaction listening to these songs in the album and then towards the end I give you sh well I tell you guys my overall thoughts and opinions of the whole album overall and yeah, so without further ado, I guess we could dive right into the video. So, you guys already know, I am here with a first impressions album review. And if you didn't know by now, by based on what I said on the intro, the album I will be listening today is from Shawn Mendes. And it's his brand new album um, called Shawn Mendes, which is a self-titled album. Um, this is actually his third album. And I'm super, super stoked because one, if you guys didn't know, I love Shawn Mendes. I'm a big fan of him. And I actually met him earlier this year. And I can honestly say he is is one of the most sweetest musicians or celebrities I've ever met and trust me I have met a lot of celebrities and he is such a sweet guy but anyways moving forward this is what the physical album looks like um, as you can see right away you can see the graphic art on the front which I pretty much don't even have words for I really really love it I love the fact that it's very different from what he's like i get the kind of art or graphic that he's previously released on his first two albums if you guys didn't know his first album was called handwritten and it was a picture of him with kind of like you know words written in the back and then the second album was illuminate which was also kind of just him just sitting with the guitar and then there was like different versions of like the album cover and both of them are kind of like more on the blackish bluish and i love the fact that this is totally not from the kind of like color theme that he usually um uses for like his tours and his albums so yeah this is what the album looks like and as you can see here it's a picture of his face and there's like flowers like that kind of you know blossom and he's kind of looking like a little puzzle as you can see here but i love the fact that you can see flowers blossom so i kind of want to say it's kind of him as an artist you know kind of like the puzzles like breaking out where he and kind of showing that he's blossoming as an artist I mean I don't know that's just how what I think right away when I see this and I I love the cover like I just love it and also as you can see here there's like a little sticker it kind of includes tells you the kind of singles he's released so he has in my blood which is already out nervous which I haven't heard yet but I know it released before the actual album also lost in japan which is already one of my favorites like to be you with julius michaels which i'm pretty excited about which i've never heard and then you feature with khaled which so far i've heard already but i haven't got into and then if you guys didn't know i love buying my physical cds at target because usually at target they kind of always have exclusive songs and it has as you can see here this with the sticker says two extra songs and then in the back here, it lists pretty much all the um, names of the songs in the album. And now I'm going to open it up. To be honest, like, I always say this, like, 
as much as I really do legitimately love buying physical albums, I feel like they never change in regards to making it easier for any of us to like open them. Like it's weird because over here it should like have a little thing where you can easily open it, but it doesn't. So I always try to find kind of like a little opening from one of the plastics um, to open it up. And I try to open it as carefully as possible. And to be honest, I would never open a CD like this. If you guys didn't know, I have like kind of like a big OCD when it comes to opening albums. But, I mean, not everything can always be perfect. So I'm just, yeah, physically open, taking out the plastic wrap. And then what I'm going to do is kind of pull out or take out the kind of like plastic film that kind of like tightens or I guess you could say secures the CD if I could open it so da 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 wow this is like so simple but this is the CD and I'm actually surprised that it's I guess you could say backwards and as you can see the color of the CD has like a nude like color and the feel is like super matte and inside here you see that little flower which if you guys have been following this um, kind of like promotion for the album he pretty much has a flower to represent every single single of the album and now I'm gonna take out the physical book which I am super super excited about these are like probably the most uh, my favorite things about buying physical albums is just the booklet itself and I already messed it up look what I did oh my god I already I already bent it whatever but this is what the cover looks like and look you can see like it kind of has like a pinkish rosy red color can't believe I already bent this I just bought this and look at this you guys like inside here so each of the singles and look at He's so beautiful, oh my god. But each one of these has like obviously a photo. So there's Sean Mendes here, here's a flower here, here's another beautiful photo of Sean Mendes, and then pretty much it has with every song here, it lists the lyrics, which hands down I absolutely love because you guys already know I love when you know physical albums you know have the lyrics inside of it because I still like reading the lyrics. And then um, I do like the fact that um, after, you know, all the lyrics for each one of the songs, they kind of have this part where it lists, like, kind of like who wrote every single song and who worked on it, like, from the manager, who booked it, the a &R, the marketing, the press, digital marketing, etc., 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 which I absolutely love. I absolutely love. And then in the back here... It says it's thank yous, and this is a pretty long thank you, but I definitely will say that I absolutely love the book for this album. And now for the actual listening part. Do listen to these in case if you guys are wondering if I ever use these CDs, I listen to these in my car because sometimes if I want to say battery on my phone or just want to focus on a particular artist, I will literally just throw in the CD. But in the meantime, I actually have the album downloaded on my phone already because one, I did pre-order it and I do also have Apple Music, but I haven't actually listen to the album other than the singles that he already released so now here goes nothing
album Sean Mendes and my feels right now is I don't know if I'm over exaggerating but I am literally crying tears of happiness and sadness at the same time because I'm really trying to hold back the tears of how I really feel about this album so I'm gonna be honest with you guys um, when Sean Mendes first released in my blood and lost in Japan um, I wasn't really sure how I was going to feel about this album, mainly because if you guys have listened to his previous two albums, they were a bit more, I guess you could say, poppy, or like more like pop-like, if that makes any sense. And I actually really, really liked Lost in Japan because it reminded me so much of a mix of Justin Timberlake and One Republic at the same time and as I was listening to this album I was actually looking through the credits and Brian Tater was one of the people that actually worked in the album which totally made sense right and um, as I I guess you could say listen to the album um, off camera I actually listened to some of these songs again and I will say that um, it's definitely different from the first two, but you can totally tell that Shawn Mendes has like matured so much since his previous music. And to be honest, this album is so good. Like it reminds me of like a mix of John Mayer, Justin Timberlake, and Ryan Teeter, or I guess you could say One Republic, and also kind of like a little sprinkle of um, Old School Maroon 5. And I would also say that um, from this album, I 
really got to see um, Shawn Mendes use his voice because I mean Shawn Mendes is an amazing singer already hands down I have watched plenty of covers and I've even seen him live and I definitely loved how they allowed him to use his voice in different like m tempos and different levels and you can hear him use his high notes and like his falsettos and um, I absolutely like love how you really can s hear and feel like the true p true passion and the true talent that Shawn Mendes really really has and it's crazy because like I mean I've been a fan of Shawn Mendes for quite some time and I barely have friends come up to me and tell me like hey you know what like I realize like Shawn Mendes is really really good I guess because like not only because he's uh, so good looking, but also him as a musician, he's super, super talented. And um, in terms of my favorite songs of the album, I mean, I actually really like all of them, like individually on its own, like in a way where like I am trying to analyze every single song and each song is pretty good and I really like. Um, however, I will say based on what I can see through my phone because I kind of wanted to remember, my favorite songs on the album would have to be Nervous, Lost in Japan, but you guys already knew that, Where Were You in the Morning, which I already loved right when I heard it the first time. I also did like Fallen All on In You, um, Particular Taste, Why, Because I Had You, Queen, um, perfectly wrong and when I heard when you're ready I almost cried and it's weird because the song wasn't like super super slow but the lyrics behind the song kind of reminds me of myself of like not necessarily in Shawn Mendes's perspective but the other side on how like if someone were to tell me if I was ready or whatever then you know I would appreciate it a lot and I mean like I said, all my feels are inside and I just want to cry because like some of these songs like yeah they are sad and I I know that if I didn't have this makeup on and it was nighttime and I was listening to myself like I would just like ball of all the feels because of all the emotions like you can really feel um, in this album and I mean other than you know if you're a Shawn Mendes fan you guys already know this album is a hit and if you guys haven't heard of Shawn Mendes before. I feel like if you are new to listening to Shawn Mendes' music, I definitely say, especially if you're like, I want to say more of an older audience because like I'm 27, so I definitely think that you guys would really, really enjoy this. Um, I mean, this isn't like an album where you're gonna be like, you know, dancing at a club, but definitely an album you can listen to when you're at home or when you're driving the car. And if you really want to just, you know, you know, think about all those old memories and all those emotions and ugh, like this album is so good. So obviously I like the album and if you haven't already, check it out. I mean, this album is on Apple Music, iTunes, you can purchase this in store because I obviously bought it in store and that's Target and um, I know you can also listen to this on Spotify if you guys have Spotify already or any other I guess she could say like music outlet you guys use to listen to music but yeah I'm gonna give this album a big thumbs up Sean Mendes I love you hire me or marry me I don't know but this album is so good and I definitely think you guys should check it out. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions album review on the new album by Shawn Mendes, which is called Shawn Mendes. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave some love, and of course, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification button. I upload videos every single week, so I think you guys should like leave some love or however you feel. And of course, I do have social media. I have an Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and all my social media handles are all a link to that. And yeah, I want to say thank you guys again for sitting down and checking out my review. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a good day. And until next time, it's been real, and I'll see you and Sean Mendes soon. Bye!